What's going on everybody? My name's Parth and welcome back for more Dark Pictures Little Hope in the previous episode. So basically Andrew and Daniel got separated from Taylor, Angela, and Professor John. The one thing that really ticked me off about the previous episode, so if you guys don't know who Abraham is, Abraham is basically Andrew's doppelganger and it's his time to shine to, you know, start speak speaking about the facts about Reverend Carver, expose him and everything. And the judge was just, the judge was just being super rude. I hate that judge. Oh, thank God, we didn't think we'd see you again. Got lucky, I guess. First time tonight. Oh, thank God we found them. That was fast. Oh my God! I thought I'd lost you. This isn't over. The thing back there is still after me. Bro, that thing is after everybody. That thing is after literally everybody that witnessed their doppelgangers die. Except for... Uh, except for... Except for Andrew's doppelganger. Andrew's doppelganger is trying to, you know, expose Carver over here. Hey, look, it's, the, it's a little girl. Stay on your toes. Anything could happen. Okay, so I guess something is. Ooh, let, let's just see what happens. Safe while you still draw breath, Joseph. You must die today. Not even your wife Amy was spared your lust to serve Satan. Damn me if you must. So we're basically wi witnessing. The professor's doppelganger no die, fight. correct? Yes. I must drive the devil out for the safety of everyone here. No, what did he say? Joseph, do you renounce the devil and all his teachings? Yo, bro, we gotta do something, man. We gotta save him. I'm no disciple of the devil. I found his infection with madness. Roy, you're about six servants. Bro, she's just standing there. Uh, confront Mary or help Joseph? Man, this is hard. Okay, so let's confront Mary. Let's confront her. Get away! Mary, get over here! Get over here! God damn, I'm sick and tired of your crap. Look, see how this poor child is tormented. Joseph still clutches her with the devil's hand. More stones. The devil must be crushed from within him. I am so annoyed right now. Do not flinch. The fate of nah, the flinch. Flinch. No, no, yo, yo, chill. Come. Uh, and he's dead. Well, he's about to be dead. And we just witnessed Professor John's doppelganger just die just like that. I don't even know what would happen if we tried to help Joseph because I feel like it would have turned. I feel like it would have been the same outcome. He would have still died because Carver would still say, "Oh no, look, he's trying to, you know, associate with the devil. He's trying to escape or he's trying to help himself or something. I don't know." I'm tired of running. Yes, Professor. Yes. Nah, bro, bash its head. That's what I want to see. Come on, Professor John. Um, please hurry. Oh yeah. Come on. Oh god. Okay. Well, there, there's two of them. This is this is terrible. Bash its head. Actually, go up the legs too. 
That'll be hard for it to get up. Let's go! And since that was John's doppelganger, I'm pretty sure he'll feel the p he'll feel the pain too. Oh god, don't don't fall. And of course, oh god, I I was supposed to press that fast. Oh my god. Okay, well, come on, come on, come on. Aim for its head. Off with the head. That's what I'm talking about, Angela. John, get up and run. On your feet, soldier. Yo, get up. This is not the time, bro. That's what I'm talking about. I bet that felt great, huh? Uh, help. Duh. You're gonna help Angela. We are not going to let anybody die, alright? I want a good ending. Yes, sir! Let's go! On the road to saving everybody. God, that thing is so ugly. God damn. Oh, come on, man. Yup, yup, yup. Help him. Good, good. Now kick it. Get now get the sledgehammer. Uh, okay, don't don't get the sledgehammer. All right. Yes, Andrew. Help your professor out. Do not stand by the door, sir. Do not stand by the door. Like now. Uh, just help him. Andrew, Andrew, I need you here. Well, don't stand by the door, bro. Don't stand by the door, John. We do not need you dying, okay? We all need to stick together. I'm not moving. Well, my lips are moving, but my, my whole body's not moving. Is it gone? I don't see it anymore. We need to figure a way out of here before that thing finds a way in. Place looks like it burned down. Yeah, thanks for pointing out the obvious. Right. What's new? Nothing here feels right. To be fair, uh, to be fair, at least you know we're inside a house. All right, so let's let's see what's. What's this? Let's read it. Oh, it's just a little drawing. Wait a second. Yo! Wait, hold on. Pictures you discover can be view viewed again in the collections and characters screen. So wait, was well, that like a little teaser for House of Ashes? Because that is the third story into the Dark Pictures anthology series. So that's pretty interesting. I'm, I can't wait to play House of Ashes. And oh yeah, oh yeah guys, um, I just want to show y'all something. So I know you guys see, hold on. I know you guys see like an empty wall right here, right? So I basically removed all the posters that you have seen in my previous videos. And I have other posters that are framed and they are signed. They are signed by the actual voice actors, you know, like voice actors from anime like Naruto Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, Bleach, and all that stuff. Oh, hi, hi, little girl. I, I saw you right there. Cause, uh, this was actually last weekend, right? This was like one week ago. Around like it was March thirteenth and March fourteenth, right? Or no, March twelfth and thirteenth. So it was like a Saturday and Sunday, March twelfth and March thirteenth. Uh, my friend and I went to our first ever convention. You know, with like. Uh, where people do cosplays and all that stuff 
and you get to meet voice actors from you know like Star Wars, The Clone Wars, uh, from anime and all that, and it was amazing. And if you guys want to see the pictures that I took with the voice actors, go and follow my Instagram. My Instagram is in the link, my, or my Instagram is in the link down below. Just you know, go in the description. You'll see my Instagram link right there. And yeah, dude, it was an amazing experience going to my first ever convention. And I got like these posters and they, they were also signed by the voice actors. And I got some other cool stuff too. So it was phenomenal. It was a wonderful experience. I loved it. And I would, and I would be down to go to another convention, man. All right, let's see. It's a broken CD, but what does this mean? Ew, ugly, ew, yuck. I bet her breath stinks. Oh, it's... Oh my god, okay. Here we go, here we go. The evidence, as discovered through my investigation, is beyond question. Mary uses her puppet as a familiar to summon and serve the devil. We have been deceived by a child, by her guise of innocence. This puppet was mistakenly used to denounce Tabitha, but it has always belonged to Mary and Mary alone. She I hate that judge already. He was so rude to Abraham in the previous episode. And has the marrow to accuse me, a man of God, of wrongdoing. Whatever she pulls, do not fall for her little girl act. She may be a child, but there's no doubt she means harm. She's malicious. It was never my intention to bring harm to this town or its people. Can you not help me? What can I do? If I could do something to stop this, I would, but now in her hour of greatest need, I this child of the damned pleads once more for the Wait. devil's help. I beg the court's indulgence. Please guide me at this time. This I seek your counsel. Say Carver is evil. We have to stop this. The only madness is right here in this court. Carver, he's the evil one. We have been swayed by malice. The truth hidden from us, but not by Mary. Reverend Carver is the one urging us to believe in the devil. Be silent. No, you be silent. You freaking idiot. true purpose is plain to see. I will see this town purged of all evil. He's right. Listen to what he's saying. Carver is to blame. What must I do to bring little hope back into the line? Okay, okay. Choose. Okay, destroy the damn doll or stop Carver. Oh, sh oh, this is the ah, I remember um shoot 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 uh Destroy the doll? If it's the doll that's evil, then destroy the damn doll. I really okay, hope right. I chose the right one. Because I remember seeing this exact scene and this one you have to Mary. choose wisely. Destroy it, and she will be restored. Released from its curse. If the puppet truly holds Mary in an evil grip, then let us destroy I really hope I chose the right choice. I would be scared if if I chose the wrong one. Burn the puppet. Destroy it. Not act in haste. The girl must face the full consequences of the authority is not for questioning. Do as I yeah, can. Carver, do it right now. Do it. You've done everything you could. Whatever happens, it's not your fault. I am praying to God that was the right choice. Oh boy. Screw Carver though. Screw him. But props to the 
props to the uh, guy who was playing as Carver in this game. There's no way you could have known what was going to happen. Let's just get out of here. Whatever questions we still got, they won't be answered now. Let's just get out of here. That child won't be troubling us again. This is over. Oh my god, what just happened? And the house is falling apart. Oh my god, this is deja vu from the beginning of this series, bro, where the house is on fire. But instead of the house being on fire, it's those creatures, it's those little inner demons, devils, whatever. Oh god, oh my god, come on, no, 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 no. We don't need you dying. We don't need anybody dying. And oh my god. Did we just... Fearful, dismissive. Baffled, fearful, reckless, arrogant. I'm so upset right now. I chose the wrong decision. I don't get why those three didn't follow us out the house. This is so annoying. And they're dead. Great. So, what type of ending is this? Like, I'm curious because there's like... I don't, I don't know, bro. We just witnessed three people die right in front of my eyes and Andrew's eyes too, but wow. Um, I don't know what to say, you guys. I have failed. Oh, there's Vince. Man, shut up, Vince. I hate you. I don't want to talk right now. You should have stayed away. Never come back here. I'll never forget or forgive you for what you did. I don't want any trouble, okay? We're going. And we're not coming back. The only place you should be heading is hell, you goddamn murdering son of a bitch. That's him! What? You need to keep an eye on this guy. He's out of control. You okay, buddy? No, please. Wait. You seem a little confused. You don't understand. What kind of ending did I get? Oh my god. No way. That's the bus driver, right? Yeah. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. But what kind of ending is this? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. 
I doubt a short delay will trouble him too much. Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. I remember reading something like this. So basically, he saw everything. Everything was in his head. And Andrew was the bus driver this whole entire time. And uh, when the officer saw who was in the bus, nobody was in there. And he just crashed the bus. Just like that. And oh my god, I'm getting goosebumps now. Use a drink. Better not, thanks. Need to get the clear head. So he was by himself this whole entire time. There's another ending where obviously, you know, you kept everybody alive. I look you in the eye. Now let me in. Hey! They're coming. I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. It's okay. I'm gonna be just fine. I, I'm speechless. I remember reading about this ending because the only ending that I wanted to get was basically having the professor, Daniel, Taylor, Angela, and Andrew to live. But, um, yeah, I, I forgot what kind of ending this is. I will definitely look this up because I'm curious now. This is so interesting and I'm I'm I was just speechless that whole entire scene. So Andrew was the bus driver this whole entire time and he was basically seeing things and he he was just talking to himself. Maybe he can now put the past behind him. So the bus driver is basically Andrew all grown up if I'm correct and Vince was at that funeral yeah Vince was at Tanya's little funeral and that wow um Until we meet again, Vince is basically just blaming maybe in the Andrew for what happened back then or maybe something somewhere else but we will meet again yes in House of Ashes at least one more and the next story oh my yo this is so crazy to me oh my god dude i can't believe it holy crap <laughs> i need to look up the definition of this ending because i can't tell if i got the bad ending or the good ending i mean there I don't know what kind of ending that was. I have to look it up because obviously it can't be the good ending or the bad ending. So maybe like somewhere in the somewhere in between. I don't. Oh my god. This is this is insane. Oh my god. Wow. Thank you guys so much for the support on this series and of course, I will be playing House of Ashes next. On the uh, on here on the YouTube channel soon. I just don't know when I'll start it, cause there, cause of course I say this all the time. I'll, I want to play a lot of other games here on the YouTube channel, but I just want to say thank you guys so much, so much. So go ahead and smash that like button, 15 more likes, and as always, guys, have a fantastic day. Ooh,